we are going to show you how to draw a simple floor plan in CAD. We will use Babacud Home Edition CAD software, version 2020, download link is below. First, draw a rectangle object, with 6 meters width and 5 meters height, type monkey character, to specify that we are entering relative or offset coordinates. We will type monkey, then 6, and 5, and click enter to finish rectangle command. Now, let's draw our rooms. I will make a floor plan with a hall, one dining room, kitchen and toilet. It should fit to overall floor dimension of 6 times 5 meters. To draw a room space, I will use line object. Click on the line command, and then specify desired length. Enter the value, 4, then at 90 degrees, enter value of 3, so we will have living room sized 4 times 3 meters. I will draw and other lines to finish wall paths. Then, we can check the size of every room, and as we can see, we have living room of size 4 times 3 meters. Value I then, kitchen has size of 2 times 3 meters, and later we will also draw a toilet with the length of 2.5 meters. After we finished this, now we can use offset command to draw walls. But before starting with offset, we will first join specific lines, so we can later use offset command to draw walls. To join lines, select two lines and use join command, and lines will be joined. We must draw some lines again, following existing lines and using snap-on endpoint feature. Then, repeat join command again, and join lines which are left. We need a toilet, so I will choose a length of 2.5 meters. I have to draw a line with length of 0.5 using line command. After that, start line and connect with the wall down below, using orthogonal snap feature. Erase lines that are not needed, just select, and type erase, or click on erase button in the menu. We will get the space for the toilet, which size is 3 meters in width and 2.5 meters in length. So, we've drawn basic stuff, and as you can see, it already getting some nice look of CAD floor plan. There are few lines to join, as we need them joined to draw the walls. Few lines are left to join. Just select two lines, and type join command to join the lines. If some line or other object can't be selected, just modify object's draw order, using command, center back. After we join all these lines, we will have separate poly lines, and then I will show you how to use offset command to draw walls with specific width. We have prepared everything to switch to the next step. That next step is drawing of walls using offset command. Command offset can be started by typing offset in the command line or by clicking on the menu button. After we started offset command, we need to type offset value in the command line and press the enter key. After specifying offset value, we need to select the polyline object from which the offset line will be drawn. Latest step in the offset command is to click on the side on which we want offset to be drawn. We need to specify 0.075 as offset value, because it's half of the wall's width. We are almost done with drawing the walls. I just need to prepare and join lines for the other walls.
as I couldn't select polyline of living room, I must use send to back to get my polyline at the front, so I can then select it and use offset to draw the inner side of the wall. All walls are drawn, except last one. I have to send to back polyline in order to get polyline which I need to draw a last wall. For the offset value, I will specify 0.075, as it's half of the wall's width. I will again use offset command, and select polyline which divides living room from the kitchen. At the end, after we finish with offset command, we will have all walls drawn. We have to erase the lines that we don't need anymore, just select it, and use erase command. For the last cleaning option, I will use command, trim, trim command will help me to cut off lines inside the walls. These short lines are parts of wall lines, so we cannot erase them using Erase command. We must select Edge Objects for Trim command, or as the best option, just press Enter or right mouse click to specify all objects in the drawing to be Edge Objects. We got clean walls after erased unwanted line links, using Trim command. We could draw dimension annotations earlier, but it's not too late to draw them now. We could left out some lines, which will need to draw dimensions for our floor plan, but we can draw a few lines quickly. You will later see why we need those helper lines. To draw a dimension, we can use few types of dimension objects. For our floor plan, we need to use linear dimension. Dimension commands can be found in Home menu, or in Annotations menu. Start Dimension command to draw a linear dimension, and to get annotations for every floor side. We see that our dimensions looks too large. This is not a problem, and we will solve this by modifying the dimension style. In the dimension style window, we can create a new dimension style or edit existing one. Change the dimension parameters to get desired dimension look. I will scale down values to get proper dimension size on the drawing. After we set these values once, it will be saved with our drawing objects. To apply changes, just close the Mention Style window, or press OK button. One important thing. We must to set the Dimension Style which we just created to be the default one or current style. Just open Dimension Style window, select Floor Plan Dimension Style and press button, Set Current. Now, I will draw a few linear dimensions on our floor plan, to annotate the size of every room on the plan, and also to get overview of whole plan size. To repeat the last command, just right-click mouse button and choose last command, or you can press space at the command line. We will repeat dimension command few times to draw more dimensions. I think our dimensions are still large, so dimension style parameters should be further reduced. I will just open Dimension Style window again and modify Dimension Style parameters a little bit. 